Okay, so I've cast on my stitches that I need for the neckband, um, and now I'm gonna show you how to join those stitches in the round. Um, I was so happy when I first <laughs> figured this this little tip out because uh, it makes just such a neat join in the round. You don't get any loose stitches and no tidying up to do later. Uh, and that kind of thing makes me really happy. So I will show you it. Um, and basically what I've got you to do in the pattern is to cast on one more stitch than you actually need to work the neckband. And that one extra stitch is gonna be used to connect your um, your stitches in the round. Now here I'm using a, um, a, need, a cable length, sorry, that's about the right length so that my stitches will stretch all the way around and meet um, on each end of the needles. But if you are finding that your stitches don't stretch, then you can pop a little magic loop in to help you out. To do that, I just go to the go to my right needle, where the cable joins the right needle, I push those stitches back a little, create, pull a loop through, that's a magic loop. And then it just means that you can squash all these stitches up a little bit more so that they definitely reach to the end of your needles and you can join in the round. So make sure, first of all, that there are no twists in your stitches at all. If you have this needle twisted round like this, it the stitches will twist every round that you work and you'll have to restart, which is very annoying. So I always go around and make sure that the ridge of my cast on edge is on the inside of my cable all the way around, particularly looking at, if you're using a magic loop, check that bit really carefully to make sure that it hasn't twisted. Um, but that all looks good to me. I've got a nice ridge going all the way around the inside of my cable here. So I'm ready to join in the round. Okay, and this is what you do. You slip the first stitch that you cast on over to your right needle, purlwise. And then you slip the last stitch you cast on, which is now the second stitch on your right needle, over the last one and off the needles. So you've now decreased that extra stitch and you're using it to make a really neat join in the round. Return that stitch to your left needle and then all you do is you pull on the two ends of your um, yarn and it creates this incredibly tight, neat join in the round. Once you've done that, you're ready to place your marker to uh, indicate where the beginning of your round is and you're ready to start your ripping.